previously on a life array. We tackled our biggest projects to date, full lithium upgrade, mass refurbishment, and the rebuild of our rotten water tanks. There is been some serious changes. This was seven months of hard work in preparation for our new arrival. Silly Anne's water's just broke. Feeling rather excited. Just stoked that the baby waited till bloody in the morning. Wasn't it's not the middle of the night. So, a little bit of an update. Little baby Jack is 12 days old today, which is pretty exciting. And mum's healthy, Leanne's good. And uh, they're staying in an Airbnb at the moment, or we are, just because Leanne had the C-section in the end, so just to get her back on her feet properly. When we were leaving to go to the hospital when Leanne went to labour, I noticed the fridge had stopped working, and unfortunately, um, yeah, we'd lost all the gas and there was a leak and the, and the compressor and so basically and then I started digging into it and found that all the insulation in the fridge was saturated and everything needed to be ripped out and started again which you know great timing last thing I need I've ripped out I didn't get any footage I've just sort of come down here in my time spare time when I'm not looking after those guys and at home being dead it's a bit weird saying that um, yeah so I've ripped out all the old insulation because it was absolutely saturated all the way around there was water sitting pooling in down the bottom here it's all nice and dry now Luckily, luckily this is all solid. Everything's been tabbed to the hull, so there's really no water damage, which is amazing. Who knows how long since it's been sitting there like this. That's a old hot water line. I'm just going to leave that there. It doesn't get used anymore. But, but anyway, I'm just starting to put new insulation in. High density extruded polystyrene. Closed cell, so there's no chance of it saturating. I'm probably going to break the rules here a little bit, but I think I'm only going to use 50 mil insulation. That's the minimum recommendations, but it means we're going to have a lot bigger fridge. And I've also made the opening a hell of a lot bigger. I'm going to put, build a new door, which is pretty interesting. We'll give that a go. It might work, it might not. And out here, we have the new refrigeration unit. Bye. Oh, so here's Josh, Get Mr. Pedro, done. getting it done. Got the glass cut and it's going in there. Well, get a boat they said. Check it out. So we've got new cupboards. There's going to be a drawer there that pulls out this way. Another drawer, like utensils, etc. New compressor goes in under there. There'll be fans and stuff ventilating and there's going to be a duct going up behind there and that's going to feed hot air up and behind the instruments so it help keeps all the instruments dry too. And then that's going to be like a rubbish bin. We figure we can't just keep having... We normally have a rubbish bin just like a plastic bag hanging. And now we've got little Jack which eventually he's going to be a toddler running around. Safe to put plastic bags and proper rubbish out of the way. And this is the fridge we're getting there. It's all glassed in. A bit of scraps in there. Had to do a few repairs, got a bit more peel ply on the around the edges. But um that's getting real damn close. I put a hole through the side for the pipe work to go through to the compressor. And I've also you can see a little dot there, pre-drilled and put epoxy in the holes for the fixing screws. So no water gets back into the new insulation. This is gonna be a nice new bench top, which is gonna because before that was an AV station, but you couldn't sit at it. It was too small. So it's now going to be a standing bench, standing nav, multi-purpose kitchen and bench with storage and stuff. It's going to be heaps better than what it was. That's our galley. So it's so tiny. So to be able to have a big nice opening door fridge and a big bench space, we can just, you can do so much food prep there. It becomes part of the galley as well as sort of a standing nav station. All the electronics are going to be there. I'm going to put a screen over in the corner. It's going to be good actually. And that's actually the the ply that's going to go across the top sitting there it's all cut out it's just my workbench at the moment um, and then we're going to get nice white countertops made up absolutely stoked with the progress oh yeah oh yeah this is the update on the fridge put the trim on look at this nice trim around it 
got the holding plate installed. This is the masterpiece. I just finished laying up the door. It's still wet. It's got five layers of glass and then also you can see there the 4mm laminate, ply laminate for the front of it so we can varnish it and have a look sort of tie into the rest of it. Finally getting somewhere. Tanks are in but not plumbed. Time to go home. See Leanne and Jack. Might go for a bit of a walk and get some fish and chips or something and have it on the beach. Jack's, Jack was a month old on Tuesday, so two days ago. It's been all go. Moving back on board this Saturday. <laughs> I'll show you around if you like. Fridge is basically ready. Had it running and it works. I'm just waiting on the door seals now. I've made the door. Needs a little bit of sanding and a bit of varnish and stuff on it. But there's the door. Finally fixed down the new plywood. It's not the finished countertop, but that's the base for the countertop when we get it. Well, it depends. I haven't decided what we're going to do yet. New cutout for new electrical panel. That'll hinge down. That'll be a new nav area. That little you can see I've boxed it out there, it's a bit messy, can't really tell. Tanks are in, floor is rebuilt. There's the water fill point and two breathers, one for each tank, forward and aft, so you can tell when each one's full. Next job is to fill the water tanks. Oh shit, filling up. So look down below. Oh shit, listen to them. Look at that. Water going in. Water going in, filling both tanks with one fill point, and I've got an individual breather and a separate pickup each. All right, so it's been a month and three days since this little man has been born. Um, we've been in the house nearly five weeks. Kieran's been so busy on the boat the last month, pretty much getting her ready to move back on. So tomorrow is D-Day. We're moving back onto the boat. We're very excited, aren't we? We're very excited. Home sweet home. So we're officially back, back on board. It feels so nice, it feels so good. I'm happy to be back, a happy to be home. A little spice. Yeah, what do you reckon? You like your house? We were back on board. It was time to celebrate. A couple of days later, the fridge seals arrived and our new fridge was ready to go. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels cold. Doesn't take long, you do spill a lot. That's for sure. Close it. It's at nine degrees in there now. Mmm. Joys of a front opening fridge, but once we have lots of food and stuff in there, It'll be interesting, it's already at 9.8.9. .9. Life on board definitely had its challenges with the newborn. But it didn't take us long to get into the swing of things. The days turned into weeks, the weeks turned into months. <laughs> it's the super baby! <laughs> And before we knew it, six months had passed, and it was time for Jack's first sail. How is it? First sail, eh? Like. Oh, nice evening. Join us next time for our first sail with the baby, our first haul out. Boats out of the water. And we disembark on our first ever trip off the boat as a family of three. Have a guess where we went. Drop it in the comments below. As always, thank you all for watching, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to follow our adventure. <laughs>